This screencast is going to look at the annotation of skeletal muscle. We'll be limiting it essentially to the epimycem, perimycem, endomycem, muscle fiber, myofibril, sarcomere, actin, and myosin. Having said that, to understand these, there are a few other structures that we will need to look at as well. So if we start here, we'll look at the three sheaths that cover different components of the muscle. The first one is the epimycin. Now the epimycin surrounds the entire muscle. Our perimycin covers our bundles of fibres. So it wraps around each one of these bundles and we've got an example of that sitting up here as well. The last of these sheaths is the endomycin and it covers each individual muscle fibre. So it covers through here and would wrap around each one of those. Now the other thing that we can see here in this diagram is the muscular tendon. So just a reminder that tendon joins muscle to bone. It's ligaments that join bone to bone. So tendons join our muscle to bone. Moving down a little bit, we started off with an entire muscle we moved into bundles of fibres. Then our muscle fibre. And now we're breaking these muscle fibres down into myofibrils. And within these myofibrils, we have many, many, many sarcomeres lined up next to each other to form that myofibril. So within our sarcomere, we have our Z lines that define the beginning and end of each individual sarcomere. We have our actin filaments, which are the thin filaments that come off the sides of the Z lines. We have our myosin, which are the thick protein filaments in the center of each sarcomere. And from those, we have myosin cross bridges. Now these cross bridges will reach out, attach to the actin, and draw the Z lines closer together. Looking at our regions of a sarcomere. We have an eye band. Now the eye band runs between the myosin and the Z line. When a sarcomere shortens, the eye band will narrow. We have our H zone, which runs in between our actin. So again, when the sarcomere shortens, the H zone will narrow. And we have our A band. Our A band runs the length of the myosin. So when a sarcomere shortens, the A band doesn't change its length. So if we come down here, we've got two different types of drawings that we can annotate. Now I've put two here so that if in an exam or a test you have to annotate two next to each other or a single one then we're able to. So we'll start off with the Z lines. We have our actin. Myosin, here we 
have our myosin cross bridges that reach up off the myosin towards the actin. Now to look at our zones. Our I band runs between the Z line and the myosin. So that's where it would be on an individual one. However, when we're looking at the two together, the I band runs all the way across that center Z line. So that's our I band. If we look at our H zone, our H zone runs between actin and lastly we look at the A band now the A band runs the length of the myosin I'll only do that top one. So again, when our sarcomere shortens, our I band will narrow, our H zone will narrow, but our A band stays the same.